coming up on today's episode of Airborne Amand. Little Ripper Drone helps rescue two swimmers in Australia. Orbital ATK demos counter UAS technologies. A new Harrier parachute launcher designed for drones. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AEVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Lifeguards from the Australian Lifeguard Service were preparing for a training session to familiarize themselves with UAV equipment that is a key part of a partnership between the NSW Department of Primary Industries and Surf Life Saving NSW as a part of the government's $16 million shark mitigation strategy when a call came through about two distressed swimmers. At about 11.30 Thursday morning local time, two teenagers were swimming in powerful surf conditions about 0.6 miles north of the patrolled area when a member of the public noticed that they were having difficulty in the 10-foot swell. Lifeguard Supervisor Jay Sheridan was piloting the UAV at the time, immediately responded and was able to locate the swimmers within minutes of the initial alert. In a first real-life situation, he dropped the rescue pod to the swimmers, who were able to cling onto it and make their own way to the shore. The pair were fortunately unharmed but fatigued. The Little Ripper UAV certainly proved itself today, said Jay Sheridan. I was able to launch it, fly it to the location, and drop the pod all in about one or two minutes. On a normal day, that would have taken our lifeguards a few minutes longer to reach the members of the public, he said. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. The FAA has registered a million drones, with a vast majority of them being used for recreational purposes. Speaking at CES 2018, U.S. Department of Transportation Secretary Elaine Chao said that the 1 million total registration figure includes 878,000 hobbyists who receive one identification number for all the drones they own and 122,000 commercial, public, and other drones, which are individually registered. AUVSI has announced the finalists for its inaugural Innovation Challenge, which gives small startup and early-stage companies operating in the commercial, defense, and non-traditional unmanned systems or autonomous system sectors an opportunity to present their technology to government and industry representatives. The Innovation Challenge will take place at Unmanned Systems Defense Protection Security from February 6 to 8, 2018 at the Gaylord National Resort Convention Center in National Harbor, Maryland. Drone regulations in Thailand include altitude restrictions, insurance requirements, and prohibition against flying in some areas like near government buildings. But they are serious about registration. Failure to register a personal drone is punishable by a fine of up to $3,100, or up to five years in prison. Thai officials estimate there were some 50,000 drones in private hands in the country, with only some 350 of them registered. Drone Delivery Canada will start testing its Raven X-1400 cargo delivery drone this year. The Raven X-1400 delivery drone is engineered to provide payload capacities of up to 25 pounds and designed to fly approximately 37 miles. The Raven X-1400 boasts a larger payload compared to DDC's Sparrow X-1000 drone, which had its declaration of compliance accepted by Transport Canada last December. The addition of the Raven X-1400 is designed to meet the challenging weather conditions of northern Canada and provide larger payloads. That was our Unmanned Minute, now back to the rest of the news. Orbital ATK recently participated in the Maneuver Fires Integrated Experiment at Fort Sill, Oklahoma. The event allowed soldiers to use counter unmanned aerial system technologies during a series of demonstrations to provide feedback on how these systems performed and could potentially help fill capability gaps for short-range air defense. 
Orbital ATK demonstrated its ability to combine both electronic and kinetic attack through its anti-unmanned aerial vehicle defense system, which detects, tracks, identifies, and defeats drones, and also brings a kinetic element through the integration of the company's XM914 30mm Bushmaster chain gun, mounted to the Stryker combat vehicle platform. The gun system also provides the vehicle crew with the firepower needed to defend against ground threats. The combined weapon can work together or independently. The AUDS system is modular, meaning that pieces of it can be tailored for use on different platform types, depending on mission requirements. Or it can be installed at a fixed site position to provide CUAS defense for a facility or operating base. Earlier this year, Orbital ATK was awarded an $8.5 million contract to integrate AUDS onto a mobile anti-UAV defense system. California-based Fruity Shoots has introduced the Harrier Drone Parachute Launcher, a small spring-loaded parachute for fixed-wing drones and small multi-copters. The company says the core design objectives for the Harrier Launcher were lightweight, compact, ease of use, and reliability. The Harrier features a thin wall carbon fiber canister, lightweight nylon components, and a high energy compression spring. Because the new launcher needed to be as compact and light as possible, a new line of parachutes called the Iris Ultra Zero was designed for the project. The IFC 30 SUZ parachute weighs just 27.7 grams and is rated at 1.25 kilograms at 4.6 meters per second. Currently, the Iris Ultra Zero parachute is only available with a Harrier launcher. The complete 40 millimeter Harrier with the ISC 30 SUZ parachute weighs just 81 grams and is only 103 millimeters long. Fruity Shoots is currently offering three sizes, but plans to grow the product line to include many sizes and diameters. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.